Uh, my name is Kip Cornett, and on behalf of my fellow Picnic with the Pops commissioners that are sitting behind us and several dignitaries, we have a rather major announcement to make today that we think will be part of the transformation of this wonderful space that's even going to get more magnificent as time goes on. Um, every now and then, a good idea turns into a great idea. Uh, 250 years ago, approximately, about a mile from here, a group of Frontiers people got together and said, what do we name our city? The good idea became a great idea when they decided to call it Lexington. And they had the foresight to know that once we got into brevity, we can always say Lex all the time for the Bluegrass Airport, et cetera. That was great idea number one. Great idea number two was in the 30s, when a group of folks decided that there was a Kansas native that was coaching high school basketball in Illinois, and they said, we think it might be a good idea to hire this guy who ended up being Adolph Rupp, which you see behind us now, which turned into a great idea. The third great idea, and there's been many, many more in this city, was a conversation that then Mayor Jim Amato had with Tom Menner who ran the center for many, many, many years. And Mayor Amato said, we need an outdoor event that is on a par with the great city that we are. And in 1980, the good idea became a great idea known as Picnic with the Pops. Fast forward many, many years, uh, I guess 38 years later, and every now and then, great ideas intersect. The city, Rupp Arena, Picnic with the Pops, and Town Branch Park. So we've got that moment in time when all these great ideas are actually intersecting at once. And um, I would like to, at this time, uh, turn to the mayor of the fourth best run city in America. And thank him for all the passion and the vision he's had around this project. But I would like to defer to the mayor to make a wonderful announcement uh, on behalf of the Picnics with the Pop, Picnic with the Pops Commission. Mayor Gray. Kip, well first, um, what an exciting day, what an exciting day it is to be here. Kip, thank you so much for your leadership, for your enthusiastic leadership of the Commission, as President of the Commission. Also want to thank the Lexington Philharmonic and Maestro Scott Terrell, thank you for being here and having your members here. The Bluegrass Community Foundation, Lisa, Madonna, Art, your leadership. Thank you so much. I want to welcome our council members. I see council member Bill Farmer, Joe Smith, and Kathy Plowman. Thank you all for being here. And welcome to the members of the Picnic with the Pops Commission sitting right up here. That was an applause line, you all. Thank you. I want to thank I want to thank each and every one of you for saying yes when I called and asked you to serve on this board. Welcome to, to Ann Bacus and the Town Branch Park Advisory Board. Ann, I know it'll be appropriate for you to introduce your board when you're up here in just a minute. I want to offer a special shout out, and Kip has already done that, to former Mayor Jim Amato and former Picnic with the Pops Commission Chair Tom Minter. Without their leadership, we would not be here today. Yes, we are crowding the winter circle some 243 years after our city was settled around the town branch in 1775. We're filling up the downtown with good news about town branch commons. Last week, just about two miles from here, over on the east end of town, we officially broke ground on the trail that is part of town branch commons. Today, together with the picnic with the Pops Commission, I am announcing a $1.2 million gift to be used for an amphitheater in Town Branch Park, right here. Now, as Kip, Kip said earlier, this gift has been about 40 years in the making. These are funds that have been adding up in the picnic with the Pops account since, the, since early in the 1980s. And that's decades of food and fun and music at Picnic with the Pops. 
from the beginning, from the beginning, yes, from the beginning, the funds were dedicated to an amphitheater, a permanent home for Picnic with the Pops. That was the dream of Mayor Amato and Tom Mentor, and now that dream is about to become a reality. That dream, yes, and much, much more. The amphitheater will be part of a privately funded signature park, the Town Branch Park. It will be a destination, a sensation with gravitational pull. I've always believed that ideas are the DNA of everything that's important. And there's nothing more, more powerful than an idea whose time has come. And that was the case in 2012. So I want to take a moment to dial back to that beginning in 2012 when we were developing a plan to reimagine Rupp Arena and the Convention Center, and then to create Town Branch Commons. The idea for this park emerged with the help of Michael Speaks, the former dean of the University of Kentucky College of Architecture, and many other citizens. Michael's reputation helped lure internationally acclaimed architects to consult on projects here, and in this case, the winner of the competition, Kate Orff and Scape Landscape Architects. Holly Wiedemann, who's now finishing, finishing up renovations on our historic courthouse, was also involved in selecting Kate to design Town Branch Commons. And Jeff Fugate, as president of the Downtown Development Authority, managed the competition. We all knew it would take time, perhaps several years, to get these projects off the ground and moving forward. But we also knew they would happen. They were just too compelling. The plans just too powerful. So now we're moving forward with a new convention center, a reimagined RUP, Town Branch Commons, and today we are taking another step closer to the Town Branch Park. And I want to thank you so much for the work that you and the Town Branch Park Advisory Board are doing. Your leadership and your persistence your dogged determination are what gives us so much inspiration today. The gifts that Town Branch Park has attracted are simply unprecedented for a parks project in Lexington. Great cities have great parks, and the Town Branch Park and Town Branch Commons and Picnic with the Pops will be enjoyed by Lexington citizens for generations to come. Thank you all so much. I'd also like to bring up um, the notion that uh, it would be wonderful um, if we could wave a magic wand and see everything that Town Branch Park was going to be, but we do have a few pictures around that you can see. I hope that you'll go to our website and check out things that are going to be happening there. But obviously there's a lot of time and effort and friend raising and fundraising uh, that's going to be important to make this a reality and I don't think we could have chosen a better person to lead those efforts uh, than Ann Bacus. And Ann, I'd like for you to step forward and speak to you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What an amazing day. Let's give another well-deserved round of applause to Picnic with the Pops for their very generous donation. We are so very thankful to the Commission for their investment, which will con con contribute greatly to the success of our People's Park. When we began this process, we made a commitment that a main component of Town Branch Park, both in design and programming, would be the arts. We believe our signature park should make the arts accessible to all of our community. It nurtures the soul, it brings people together, and it makes people think, feel, and grow. This investment announced today is a tremendous opportunity for the outdoor performing arts in the center of our community. Our park design will include a performance lawn that will be able to hold 5,000 people. The technology, the backstage elements will be second to none. The world-renowned, award-winning firm SCAPE will be leading these efforts. SCAPE understands how the arts can help activate a social space. 
Both local citizens and area art organizations will benefit greatly from the creation of our new state-of-the-art outdoor performance space with a capacity not currently available in Lexington today. Area arts organizations will be able to develop new performances and reach new audiences that maybe they have not otherwise been able to reach. Picnic with the Pops and its investment is a crucial element to achieving these goals. One more time, on behalf of our board and our staff, I would like to thank the commission and their members for this amazing contribution. One last announcement. Our website is going live today, so please visit www.townbranchpark.org and follow the progress of making our park a reality. Thank you all so much. Thank, thank you, Ann. Uh, just a couple of final notes. Uh, it's been touched on before, but uh, there are a lot of people who have been to the Picnic with the Pops since 1980 all the way through today. And it's, it's fun to kind of go there and see all the, the commitment and, that people do to decorating tables and enjoying themselves. So I'd like to thank everybody that's bought a ticket, that's um, uh, huddled under potential rainstorms and dodge storms and listened to music, the Philharmonic and the wonderful job they've done. Because again, this gift would not be possible if it had not been supported by the citizens of Central Kentucky and in Lexington. And in closing, again, I would like to thank uh, my fellow commissioners for the vision and the commitment and the understanding of what this uh, is going to mean to Town Branch Park. Because I do feel now uh, is when the media goes out and does their job and spreads the word and you all go out and spread the word that people will understand that this park is not going to be a passive park. It's going to be a very active park for our citizens. So thank you all very much for coming. And uh, by the way, I, I hate to close with a shameless plug, but on August 17th and 18th, the 38th performance of the Picnic with the Pops will be held at Keeneland uh, with Scott leading the Philharmonic um, around the music of the Rolling Stones. So come and enjoy. Thank you. <laughs>